I'm Chris. I'm Margie. And this is Disney Updates, and we have some... Disney news. Disney news. The show's gonna suck. Why? Our title is List of Magical Water Bottle Refill Stations. That's our title. That's why this show is going to suck. So, might as well start sucking. Might as well just start reading that title. Here we go. Starting off. Where to refill your show? WDWmagic.com. All the treats coming to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2023 at Walt Disney World. Oh, hello, Mike. Hey, Mike. So, you know what sucks about this? We're not going to be there. 52 year olds do not go trick or treating. That's what sucks about this. <laughs> so, you're telling me you wouldn't go trick or treating if you were there? Well, I'm 52 years old. So take a bag and go around and get the candy and sure. bring it home. And, Hi, Miss Mar. That would look to... that would look pathetic. No, then give it to a kid in the park. Pathetic. pathetic. It would just be fun. But you stand in line for a cookie. Sure, Marge. Here we go. Did you not? For what? You stood in line for a gingerbread cookie. Yeah, but cookies are there's no age limit on cookies. There's no age limit on candy. Trick or treating, there is. No, I don't buy. I don't buy yes, that. there is. All yeah, right. We'll just have to. So here we go. To disagree. Andy Gravity's Galactic Goodies. They have an apple fritter, milkshake, salted caramel milkshakes topped with green apple whipped cream, and an apple fritter. Thank you, Mar. So there's that. So I'm taking. Which one do you think it is? Boy, I don't know. What Can I say it? this one? Let's say this one. Okay. They have a mummy treat, flaky pastry filled with chocolate hazelnut filling and topped with white icing stripes and sugar eyes. Pretty sure that's at this one here, right? Mm -hmm. That's at the Cheshire Cafe. They have the Queen of Hearts slushy, frozen cherry slushy, drizzled with black cherry puree and topped with whipped cream. I say it's that one. Mm hmm. <clears throat> and Witch's Cold Brew French Vanilla Joffrey's Cold Coffee Cold Brew topped with pumpkin spice foam and Halloween sprinkles. There. I would drink that. You would drink that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> here we go. What do we have here? All right. We'll go back up to see it. So terrifying twice spiced chicken sandwich, spice fried chicken breast dipped in Hot honey and topped with pepper jack cheese, jalapeno peppers, and bacon. So I'm going to say that's this, poppers. right? Yeah, they're Halloween pop poppers. Oh, poppers, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> the snarling sub, meatball sub, with spicy marinara, pesto, and pearl mozzarella teeth served on a black roll. Is that it? Mm -hmm. All right. What do we got next? Zombie fingers. Almond cookie fingers, keep lime, key lime pie, white chocolate ganache, salted caramel crisp pearls, and sugar eyes. So there you go. Zombie fingers. And last but not least to have River Sticks Elixir, Kiwi Lemonade with lust, Luster Dust. Non-alcoholic. This one here. Mm -hmm. Mar says it's fun to go trick-or-treating at Disney. And Disney hey, gives out M&Ms and the good kinds of candy. But then you have paid top dollar for the tickets. Right. So here at Cosmic Rays, they have terrifying twice spiced chicken. That oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I already read that one, didn't I? At the Friars Nook, they have pain and panic bratwurst, sweet and spicy onion relish, and sriracha mustard. Is that this one? Pain and panic loaded tots, tots topped with sweet and spicy onion relish. Sriracha mustard and crumbled bratwurst. The one in the middle. And buffalo chicken hand pie with spicy ranch drizzle and blue cheese powder. Blah. That one there. You blue cheese. At the Golden Oaks, they have a tombstone tart, flaky pastry filled with strawberry jalapeno jam and topped with sprinkles and sugar spiders. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Sandy. 
Uh, they have loaded sweet potato fries, sweet potato fries tossed in cinnamon sugar and topped with marshmallow cream, butterscotch chips, and toffee pieces. At the Liberty Square Market, they have a black velvet whoopie pie, black velvet cookie with buttercream and sprinkle sprinkles topped with a sugar spider. At the Main Street Bakery, they have a Mickey-shaped cinnamon roll, Mickey-shaped cinnamon top, roll topped with orange frosting and sprinkles. They have a mini-shaped pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin cheesecake and pumpkin coffee mousse topped with a white Chocolate candy corn bow. So you know this tickling your fancy? No. Not really. At Pecos Bill's Bill's Tall Tail Inn and Cafe. They have the Cajun burger. Cajun spice all beef patty topped with fried green tomatoes. Cajun and duilly dip and creole. Creole. Remolade served on black bun. Whatever. Bucket of bones. Bones and piggy wings fried with fresh jalapeno topped in Coca-Cola cherry barbecue sauce. Candy corn milkshake. Sweet corn soft served topped with whipped cream and sweet potato corn bread nuggets. Yuck. Doesn't sound good. Does that sound good to you, Margie? Uh, I don't know. At the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, Apple Fritter Sunday. Apple Fritters topped with choice of ice cream, whipped cream, and sprinkles. The other one is ice cream cookie sandwich. Cookie topped with sprinkles with choice of ice cream. So that would be the top two. Sleepy Hollow. We're going to have to come back up. Char Siu Chicken. Wings, whole chicken wings glazed in char siu and topped with chilies, bread, and garlic. So this here. Up next, they have the head, Headless Horseman Cupcake, yellow cupcake topped with cream cheese, buttercream, spicy cheese flavored snacks, and chocolate pieces. And also cinnamon funnel cake, funnel cake topped with pumpkin Ice cream drizzled with pumpkin spice caramel and topped with butterscotch chips. That one there. Mark says no for the jalapeno anything. <laughs> and Mike said, did the Empire stop Addy update slash wild wild? <laughs> so here we go. Storybook treats. Hades cone, Dole Whip mango and habanero. Soft serve topped with blue raspberry shell and a chili lime seasoning. Hmm, that would be interesting. Yes. Sunshine Tree Tavern, ta Terrace, Tropical Graveyard Mango Mousse, and Sour Tropical gel Gelatin Topped with Cookie Crumble, Gummy Worms, Sprinkles, and a Tombstone Chocolate Piece. Right here. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. Uh, maybe they should, like, I get you're getting candy, but you're not getting $100 worth of candy. Yeah. So maybe they should, like, say, okay, you can pick out two snacks. I would I would be happy with two. <laughs> Uh, not so poison apple churro, churro rolled in green apple sugar, topped with snicker bar pieces and drizzled with chocolate sauce. Caramel sauce. Caramel sauce, I'm sorry. This one here. Then we have the Jack Pop chocolate fudge brownie with marshmallow filling and topped with a Jack chocolate piece. So we got this one here. Up next would be the Sally Pop, yellow pop with raspberry filling topped with a Sally chocolate piece. Sally. What do you think this is going to be? A zombie? Mm -hmm. You think? I don't know. Outdoor vending cart near the Haunted Mansion. Skull brownie, Mexican spice chocolate brownie with dulce de leche filling and sugar eyes. Ooh. So what do you think, Margie? There's a couple things I would try, but not many. Not many? Mm -mm. All right. Moving on. We're going to talk about a park, but not a Disney park. All right. This $2 billion theme park is expected to be the Disney World of Oklahoma. What do we know so far? This is from TravelAndLeisure.com. 
I know it's called Heartland. I think it's called Heartland of America theme park or Americana theme amusement park. I, I just know it's yeah American Heart, Heartland theme theme park is what it is. So it's going to be two billion dollars. I know that uh to cost. Let's show some pictures. So I actually watched a video on it this morning. So uh, we're thrilled to make Oklahoma the home of American Heartland Theme Park and Resort. So trying to see if they had any more. Nope, that's about it. Uh, I watched a video about it. They're going to have like different parts. They're going to have like the prairie. Uh, there's going to be... That Chris, can I ask you to keep my family in your prayers? My godmother has a tumor. Yeah. Yes, Jeffrey, we'll be praying for her. So uh, basically... What was neat about this one is, you know, most theme parks have have a train that goes around them, right? Mm -hmm. This this theme park has a highway. Hmm. So I don't know if it's like they got cars you can get into that go around, but it's got that's what it looks like. Uh, it's got it's got all different kinds of different stuff. But other than that, I think it's gonna look amazing. But I know they're gonna have like a harbor there. There was I, there was a lot to it. I was watching it before I went to work this morning, but they showed some of the areas they were gonna have, and it, it looked amazing. It did. They actually, and they did have what was it? They had they had something. They had something that was themed, mm -hmm. like to something. I can't remember what it was. They actually had a theme ride. I'm when I mean a themed ride. I'm I mean. That it actually had an IP to it, name, you know, and I cannot remember what it was, but definitely check this out. This looks amazing. So, but it says the two billion theme park destination, American Heartland theme park and resort, is proposed to be one thousand acre resort destination that is expected to attract <coughs> around five million guests per year. The year said in a press release shared on Wednesday, the project's design team is made up of over twenty former Disney Parks builders and Walt Disney Imagineers. American Heartland will be located outside of Benita on the historic Route 66 and will feature a large-scale RV park, world-class theme park, 300-room hotel, and modern indoor water park. That's right. I did see the modern indoor water park. The anchor of the proposed destination will be American Heartland Theme Park, which will feature an Americana themed environment with a variety of entertainment rides, live shows, family attractions, waterways, as well as restaurant restaurant quality food and beverage offerings. So I do know this, uh, they're, uh, so kind of like their, you know, uh, Main Street USA is going to look like an old time, like a 50s, like street, where there's going to be like kids out there playing and stuff like that. I don't know. That's the way they made it sound. So, I don't know how they're going to do that. So, it'll be incomparable. It'll be the size of Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Or bigger. Hmm. Moving right along. Where were we? There it was. Was that it? No? Nope. Here. All right. We got some... Uh... Merch. Merch. Ew. Yes. From WDW News Today... We have the Vampire Teddy Bear uh, shoulder plush from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now at Walt Disney World. It says, one of the rare characters from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas can now join you on your next visit to Walt Disney World as a shoulder plush. Vampire Teddy Bear shoulder plush, $24.49. What do you think of it, Marge? Would you wear one? No. I agree, Mar. What's that? The About that. Theme park, it's right in Tornado Alley. Yeah. In the classic 1993 film, Jack Skelton gives his teddy a, as a get Christmas gift to his unsuspecting boy and girl while his multiple attempts at kind hearted presents to the people of Christmas Town turn out to be terrifying. When it comes to life, the children scream in shock as the possessed vampire begins to fly and chase them. No, I would not wear one. <laughs> 
Oh, look at this. On the back, your Vampire Teddy sports a ghost-like cape. Okay. Look at this. It's zero, Margie. So, is it... Are they saying you can get a zero one for your shoulder, too? I'd wear a zero. Would you wear a zero? I wouldn't... I don't like those kind of things. Oh. Okay, Margie. Moving right along. That teddy toy is horrendous. Here we go. That was no. Mars' comment. I see. Next up, from the street, Universal Studios shocks Disney with surprise expansion plans. The new addition solves the company's biggest weakness when it matches up to Disney World. Universal Studios Orlando has gone on the offensive for the past few years. Walt Disney has actually outpaced its Florida rival when it comes to high-end new attractions. Disney added the Tron Light Cycle Run roller coaster at Magic Kingdom and Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot. While Universal added the more lackluster Jurassic World Velocicoaster. That followed a period where Disney spent billions to catch up to Universal Studios, which changed the theme park game with the launch of its two wizards, Wizarding Worlds of Harry Potter lands. Those lands forced Disney to invest in similar fully immersed lands, including Pandora, the world of Avatar, which changed Animal Kingdom from a half-day park into one, into one worth a full day, and the game-changing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios. Those additions sort of tip things back in favor of Disney World Park with Universal firing back with the planning of 2025 edition of its third Orlando theme park, Epic Universe. That added gate will bring another Harry Potter expansion and the company's world of Nintendo to Florida, giving the Comcast company a compelling draw for families picking between Universal Studios and Disney World. Epic Universe, however, does not have address that Universal's Florida theme parks do have a clear weakness. They lack rides for little kids, with most of their major attractions having height requirements. Universal also does not have the huge lineup of characters that Disney does, so it can't make up for its lack of kitty rides with character meet and greets. That's a compelling reason for families with younger children to pick Disney World over Universal Studios, and it's a problem Comcast is addressing with surprising expansion plans at its Florida theme parks. Universal adding a DreamWork theme land. This original Universal Studios park in Orlando has a kid's land, but it has been dated for years. It features a ride based on E.T., e the extraterrestrial, excuse me, a movie that came out in 1982, a roller coaster themed on Woody Woodpecker, a character created in 1944 who has not had a TV presence in decades and not much else. E.T. will remain because Universal has some sort of semi-secret life-long deal with the film director Steven Spielberg, but the rest of the former Kids Zone land about four acres is being replaced by a new land devoted to some of the company's DreamWorks characters. Next year, Universal Orlando Resorts will debut an all-new themed land featured DreamWorks animation beloved animated characters. As guests step into this new land, their imaginations will run wild as they take in the vibrant colors and, and sights and sounds that surround them the company shared in a press release. So, so uh, what I'm hoping for is I want to be able to visit Duloc. Mm-hmm. When you want to live, I want to go up there. I want to see the thing where it goes, Welcome to Duloc. It's a perfect town. From Shrek. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't you like to see that? I don't know. Maybe. What is it? It says it's 80. Feels like 90. I think Mother Nature turned the thermostat up to cremate. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Wow, it's only 79 here. <laughs> feels like 100 back here in this back room. All right. It feels amazing back here. <laughs> Do you want me to open the door? No. This is from WDW News Today. She has her AC on full. So, uh, Press Penny 
machines make surprise return near former Splash Mountain restrooms at Magic Kingdom. So press penny machines return without without Splash Mountain design. Wow. Well, gee willikers, what did you think was going to happen? So they're letting people back there to use the restroom? I would hope so. Hasn't Universal strayed away from the Shrek towards Minions? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, that Minions would could be added in there, but I think, I think when it comes down to DreamWorks, I think Shrek is more like their Mickey Mouse than what the Minions are. I think the Minions are a big splash, but I think Shrek is their big character. So there we go. That's what they're showing. They're, they've got Mickey, Chip and Dale, and Minnie. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Well, yeah, but what did they... I mean, why would they keep Splash Mountain? You know what I mean? What's that? Why would they bring it back and keep Splash Mountain press pennies? I don't know. Just give people last chance of that Maybe. one. So... I'm sure they'll be replacing them with the Tiana's Bayou soon, wouldn't you think? What is go back up? What is that picture of? This? Yeah. That's Oh, okay. I uh, see it now. I at see the, it. where you come down. All right. Hey, look at the payphone on the wall. The payphone? There was a payphone on the wall? How did I miss that? I don't know. We'll have to go back up. To the penny press. It has to be beside that. Oh, oh yeah. Gee sure. willikers. How did I miss that? Yep. Hey, fun. A lot of people probably don't know how to use that more. <laughs> yes, Tiana, Naveen, and Louie Gator. Hello, Cherie. Hello, Cherie. Hey, look at the payphone. I can't believe we missed that. <laughs> All right. Coming up. You ready for your triple X piece of news? I don't know. This is coming from DizDining.com. Multiple guests groped on Disney Ride. Guests should be warned that there have been multiple reports of inappropriate behavior at Walt Disney World. While it's... Easy to believe that Disney exists in a bubble and nothing ever goes wrong. Sadly, the real world manages to creep in anyways. Creep. Emphasize on the word creep. Huh, caught that one before you. Recent, Recently asked what the scariest thing guests have ever encountered in Disney Park. The results were chilling. Shared an encounter that occurred on Tower of Terror. She states that she was riding the thrill ride with her cousin when things took a scary turn that was completely unrelated to the ride. It was a slow day in the parks and the pair of teenagers had a row to themselves. They sat right in the middle of the back row and were prepared to enter the Twilight Zone when a man sat directly next to them. Despite the plenty of other available seats, despite the, their close proximity, they didn't find the behavior odd until the guy apologized in advance for not being able to control his arms and hands on the ride. The Reddit, the Redditor says that the next thing she knows, her cousin is leaning on her and covering her chest with her arms. She said the guy had been using his elbow to run over her chest. Most people just throw their hands up high in Tower of Terror, but he was very much intentionally feeling her up with his arms. She said that their, their ride photo is a painful reminder of the incident because you can see her cousin cowering in fear, not from the ride, but from the man sitting next to them. The incident went unreported. She explained that they were young and didn't know what to do or how to handle the situation. She also said the incident made her cousin very self-conscious and she refuses to sit in the middle seat on rides anymore. Okay, one thing. Yeah. When you're in riding Tower of Terror, you're on a... They make you sit where they want you. No. Yeah, they tell you what line to go in. That is... In what row. Right, if if it's a full ride. So if it's not a full ride, you just walk in and pick a I th seat? I think... I th I'm not sure. I, I I think I've been on one where you could just walk on. If it did happen, I would have punched that sucker right yeah. in the face. All right. I don't want to, like, 
Right. That's wrong. So that alone is bad enough, but multiple people came forward with their own story of being groped at Disney World. Uh, Meow Meow Binks shares her account on the thread. This time it was an Expedition Everest. She says that the man who sat next to her on the roller coaster puts his hands down her shirt on the ride. She stated that she got off the ride in a daze and told her mom, I think I was just assaulted. This incident did not... Re- did did get reported. Disney World security got that Orange County Sheriff's Office involved and the Redditor said they spent half the day giving statements, but ultimately nothing was done and she felt like Disney didn't believe her. She almost also said in a cruel twist of fate, she somehow ended up on the same bus with the man at the end of the day. Filled with anger, the girl stood up and said loudly to her mother, that's him, mom. That's the man who put his hands down my shirt. That's the man who groped me. Reportedly, everyone on the bus looked at him, and he ran as soon as they got to their their destination. Wow. Multiple cast members have been arrested for indecency in recent months, one for possessing and disturbing child porn, and another for taking up skirt photos of guests and coworkers. This is something to keep in mind when traveling to the park. Sadly, things like this do happen at Disney as much as we wish they didn't. Sickos. That looks like it's it. Can't they go back and use face recognition to identify? You would think they would do that more. You would think. That's just disgusting, sickening. All right. Let's go ahead and get into our sad title. This is from WDW News Today. A list of every water bottle feeler station at Walt Disney World. What kind of station? Water bottle filler station. Oh, That's what it said. Feeler. <laughs> okay, I know so. what you meant. Okay. So you just need to read them. You want me to read them? No, I think we click on them and they actually will show. Oh. So here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere safe. Location no, number where one. Is it Mar? Where's this Marge? Is that Magic Kingdom? Is it Cosmic Rays? I don't know if it's Cosmic. Is it Cosmic yeah. Rays? Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Oops. Okay. E- Epcot. I have no idea. I would say that's over somewhere in in one of the pavilions. I don't know where. You think? Mm-hmm. In one of the pavilions. Does it scroll down? Does it tell you when you I don't click know. on the picture? I thought it was fun just to guess. Oh, well, then we're going to be here all night guessing because <laughs> I'll probably be wrong. But Disney probably deletes the ride photos after a day. Oh, oh I guess I could just scroll down. Okay, but it doesn't tell you? No. Oh, yeah. Cosmic Ray, Starlight Cafe, Tron White Cycle Run Restrooms, and Pinocchio Village House. Those are the three places. Oh, for the uh, for the Magic Kingdom. So I don't know where this is, but I'm sure it's going to tell it's us. It's going to tell you. Guest Relations, Connections Restroom, Odyssey Pavilion, Refreshment Port Resort, International Gateway Restrooms, and First Aid. Hollywood Studios. This looks like... This is... Right when you're walking in. No, it isn't. Are you sure? It Maybe looks you're like right. you're, when you're walking in. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Batu Market Restrooms. Batu Droid Depot Restrooms. Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run Exit. Soda Machine Beside Security Checkpoint. And Skyline Station Restroom. Yeah, so that's right there when you're walking in where the pop machines are all at. Mm-hmm. Next up is Disney Animal Kingdom, Avatar Flight of Passage. Mm-hmm. Seen those inside there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobby River Journey and the First Aid. Disney Springs, World of Disney Restroom. Yeah, I'm more, I think, isn't there like a filter in them? To what? the in those Might water be. things to Disney's Contemporary Resort, Pool Resort, Steakhouse 71, the Polynesian Captain Cook's Restaurant Restroom. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And the only reason I think that is when we went up to that museum, the... Lobby restrooms. Disney yeah. Wilderness. Yeah. Where did we go? The Ford thing up in Angola? Yeah. There's a thing on there that had a light that said um, filter something new. Or... Yeah. Disney Wilderness Lodge, Whispering Canyon Cafe, Lobby Restroom, Disney w- Fort Wilderness Resort, Lobby Building, Disney's Beach Club Resort, Martha's Vineyard Resort, Pool Restroom, 
marketplace restroom. They couldn't get a picture of all these. Why couldn't they do it? That would have been great. Disney's Yacht Club, the restroom, the Yachtman Steakhouse Room, Disney Saratoga Springs restroom, Resort, High Stock Spring Pool Restroom. I'm going to knock this down. If they show a picture, I'll bring it up. Disney's Boardwalk Inn at the Tennis Courts, Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas, Kadani Village Bus Stop, Disney's Animal Kingdom Village Jumbo, Jumbo House at the Pool Restroom, Disney's Riviera Resort Pool Restroom Lobby Restroom, Disney Coronado Springs Resort Pool Restroom, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort at the Lobby rest, Restroom, Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarters Pool Restroom and Lobby Restroom, Port Orleans Riverside Pool Restroom and Lobby Restroom. Uh, I think most of these are going to be that, so I told you this was going to suck. So, well, you got to the last one was Art of Animation. Yeah, so uh, the so, art, art of Animation was outside laundry building. I have to agree with you, Jerry. Um, regardless, I feel safer in Disney than just about anywhere. I would second that. I, and then Mike says, I bet a filter or a water cleaning system. Does the water come out chilled? Chilled. You know, I think it feels, maybe it's just me, but I always thought it felt colder coming out. But it could just be me <laughs> thinking, you know. Yeah. All right, next up, this is from CNN.com. Nobody was there. What's behind the summer slump at Disney World and Universal Orlando? So, well, that's the picture they used. Long lines and jam-packed crowds tend to go hand-in-hand in, hand in a Central Florida world-famous theme park during the summer months. But Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando park goers may be in for a reprieve this season. Wait times for rides and attraction at both resorts have shortened, according to analysis who tracks theme park attendance. Videos on social media also show park attendees re remarking on thinner crowds. The reason behind slowdowns are hard to pin down, but travel experts point to extreme weather and heat in Florida, a waning post-pandemic travel boom, and an intense political climate in Florida has has prompted travel warning from some groups. Disney CEO Bob Iger attrib attributed Disney's world's recent decline in wait times to overall slump in Central Florida tourism. Florida opened up early during COVID and created huge demands and didn't have competition because there were a number of other places, states that were not open yet. He said Thursday in an interview with CNBC. If you look at the numbers in Florida in 2023 versus 2022, where not as much was open and Florida was the only game in town, there's a lot more competition today, he added. Iger told CNBC he did not have long-term concerns about Disney's theme park. Disney declined to com comment to CNN about park attendance. Shorter waits for rides and attractions. Well, if you got less people there, of course, there's going to be shorter shorter waits so i don't should we even cover that nobody was there i mean that makes a lot of sense you know what i mean because what was it during that time for the pandemic and everything it was it was crowded when they reopened it was crowded even during times it wasn't supposed to be crowded so no marshmallow <laughs> What? No. I mean, my marshmallows. So, but. Oh, well. <laughs> Mike says, Mars said people protesting with their pocketbooks caused the drop. And then Mike said the water is chilled. It has sunglasses on and it's speed up. Mars says, sounds like the Kool Aid man. <laughs> well. I know they said that they think it's because of the heat, because of humidity. It's really no, it's really bad right now down there. Yeah, like but hundred plus degrees, I think they said. Yeah, but you gotta know how to work that. That's the thing. I mean, I can go down there, I could work that. That's easy. Well, not everybody can do that. Though. Well, I mean, it, you just gotta hop into a into a gift shop every once in a while, catch some air con conditioning, and head on out. I mean, how many different places are there in Walt Disney World where when you're walking, you can cut through an air-conditioned part? So The high was 90 there today. All right. Moving right along. 
and their humidity is like 88, so it's making it feel hotter. All right. This is coming from allears.net. Disney cast members share secret Animal Kingdom facts. This is what you want to hear, isn't it? I hope they put Space 220 on the Disney dining plan. 55 for lunch, 79 for dinner. Hmm. That'll be good. All right. Here we go. Disney cast members share secret Animal Kingdom facts. <laughs> do you love Disney Animal Kingdom? We sure do. You've survived the desert, Chris. I'm a wimp. Here we go. One of the things we love most about Animal Kingdom is seeing all the different animals that the park houses, but someone has to take care of all those animals. In fact, a whole team takes care of these animals, and Disney recently highlighted them on social media. But to roll that off, Margie and I went to the Cincinnati Zoo this weekend. Did we not, Margie? We did. We did. We went to the Cincinnati Zoo. Now, I can't exactly say the Cincinnati Zoo is one of my favorite zoos. It is kind of hard to get around. Uh, I don't really think it makes much sense on where things are, but it was nice. Uh, we got to see certain things. Margie tried to get us lost. Uh, <laughs> what else? Is there anything? That oh, so coming Wednesday, uh, they have a bird show there that kind of like the one that Animal Kingdom. I saw that. And I recorded that. So that'll be coming out Wednesday. So you'll be able to watch the whole entire bird show. So that'll be out Wednesday. It was. It's not a like a terrible zoo. No. It's just not like. But did did that bird show remind you of yeah, the one? Yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't like. I would be okay if I didn't go back to the zoo. Right. Right. But the the one thing that zoo is notorious for is Fiona the hippo. Yes. Yes. She's. I mean. She's, Which no, Mar said. I think it was Mar. Was it Mar? Or maybe. And now she has a brother named. I think Fritz. It, it was either Mar. Or, I think. Mar or Kay said they were there when Fiona first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We When we went, we saw her the one time. But we didn't get to experience the whole zoo because it rained and we left. Right. But this time we did. And, I mean, I'm glad we, you know, got through the whole thing. Right. But. Right. I still think that. I, th I, th I still think we missed stuff. You think? Yeah. Because I looked at the map the other I night. Mean, I'm all, like, I don't remember I mean, going like this part. it's like scattered out. Like, yeah. And the, the train ride. I don't understand that. Yeah. There's nothing. It just took you around and showed you like two things. And right. You were done. Right. Count the turtles. I mean, I mean, the log ride at Fort Wayne shows you more than what the train. I don't know. Okay. I just. The train at Columbus. I would still do. That's amazing. I would still do. It's my favorite zoo. Yes. The Columbus Zoo. Yes. But I make around here because yeah. we haven't been to like Indianapolis or. Right. But I I do. Remember oh, Mar said she to, saw she mm -hmm. saw Fiona. So, but yeah, I went to um, the Brookville Zoo in Chicago. That's a zoo we should go to. Okay, I love it there. The people on the safari look like a smorgasbord to the lions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, another place we're talking about going to is called the Wilds. Yeah, here in, it's in Ohio, and uh, it's. Basically, it's almost like going to do the Kilimanjaro Safari, except for over there in Ohio. Yeah, and they they work with the Columbus Zoo. Yeah, yeah. So, so we want to go and do that. I think the Cincinnati Zoo is like the Memphis Zoo. When they were built, the land was on the outskirts of the city. Then the city, yes. And you can tell that too, Mar, because there are spaces in the zoo where you're actually walking uphill. Yeah. And now we know, too, why Disney doesn't like those big strollers. Because I don't like yeah. those big strollers. Yeah. The, those get in the way. A so. lot. Oh, uh, and yes, we did walk through the area where the kangaroo are. I I don't... Yeah, because they were, they were just... There was one... What? I don't think there's been a zoo that we've been to that you don't walk through the area where the kangaroos are. You do, you do in Fort Wayne. You do there in Cincinnati. Do you in Columbus? I can't remember. I don't remember. So I don't think so. It wasn't our first time walking among kangaroos. I don't even know if they're real kangaroos. I think they're wallabies. Kangaroos know. get big. He's I just know that when they were laying down, their legs were like. Isn't it, isn't, isn't a wallaby just a smaller version of a kangaroo? Maybe. I, I think so. Know. I might be wrong. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, it says over on Instagram, Doctor Mark Penning. 
highlighted the annual nutritious nutritionist over at Disney Animal Kingdom because they feed 5,000 animals every single day. There are 300 different species in this park, and they design meals for every single one. See, I think I would like something like that. You'd like I something like that? I just love animals in general. We're not the only ones who eat restaurant-quality food in Disney. So do the animals, thanks to the nutritionist at the Animal Nutrition Center. The animals all receive the right amount of protein, fat, fiber, vitamin, minerals, and other nutrients trans every single day so yeah but they eat for free i remember pushing marcy up those hills and then saying, yeah i can't imagine pushing a stroller do you think they charge the the lion gratuity no it was me that mentioned fiona okay, yeah yeah and now she has a brother Fritz. yeah yeah so uh that all adds up to overall 10,000 pounds of food each day for the animals at Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom Lodge, and Sea Base in Epcot. Wow. So the animal care team also provides all the animals with checkups, exams, and more than 24-7 to keep them all as healthy as possible for long lives. So if you love... Here, I probably should be showing these pictures, shouldn't I? If you love Animal Kingdom, check out more of the latest parks below. The news below. Oh yeah. Um. Wait. Is that it right there? The rock and roller coaster problems you may experience in Disney World. No, I don't think so. Mm. But okay. Well, I don't know what we're supposed to check out. <laughs> All right. Now, but... So since since I forgot to put the pictures up, I'll show you the. So these are giraffes or long neck cheetahs. All right. This is at the. Lodge, looking out to the safari. This is a lady fixing food for the animals. Her name is Anita. I know this because it's on her name tag. Uh, this is also one of the people. Her name is Lexi, I think. And she's got a bowl of great big marbles. So. <laughs> well, what are those, Marty? I have no idea. <laughs> But I would have made sure I knew what I was talking about before I said it. Of course you would, Margie. Mm -hmm. Of course you would. Moving on. Might need to move a little quicker, don't we? This is from WDW News Today. The magic is in the detail. Sci-fi dine and theater restaurant switches to plastic Sunday glasses and installs incorrect lighting. What do you mean? I don't know. That doesn't look good. This or this? Um, that. This? Yeah. Or this? Anyway. This? Yes. Or this? Never mind. Just this. We don't or have this? time. We have to get going. So, uh, Hollywood Studio, uh, Hollywood style soundstage acts as your portal into the 1950s, guiding you through kitschy. Vintage memorabilia, the illuminated taillights of your fellow drive-in diners, and a sky full of twinkling stars set the mood as you place your order. So, sci-fi dine-in theater, Sunday glasses, now plastic. They're plastic. I so you can take it with you. I doubt if you can take it with you. It says, back in January of this year, the iconic Sunday glasses had been changed away from the style you might have found as a soda fountain or malt shop in the appropriate area of the 1950s. Now the Sunday comes served in the above plastic cups that aren't really correct for the period, nor feel correct, giving the cheapening of materials. So the previous Sunday glass that were used since 1999 were made of glass, as pictured above. The, the problem they were having in recent times mm. was that the glasses but often crack from going straight from the hot dishwasher to having cold ice cream served inside. Uh, so maybe they should have a cooling time on them, wouldn't you say? Well, when you're feeding that many people and they're just going in and out, I mean, they're probably going out as fast as they're coming back in. With sci-fi dining, can we still get the 1950 prices? <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? So at some point at the star lighting, star... Lighting was replaced at Sci-Fi Dine-In. Dine 
but they incorrectly changed the lighting on the antenna towers to white instead of red. You see a couple red. I probably wouldn't even notice that. I wouldn't either. I do like it there. Well, I guess I guess here you can kind of tell. It should be red. I get it now. Moving on. This is coming from WDW News Today. We got some merchandise. So, uh... Illy Forever, Haunted Mansion, Space Mountain, Mad Tea Party, Dr. Facilier, and more doll outfits at Walt Disney World. So I love you forever. What is that? Aladdin. I love you forever. Doll for $29.99. So I guess they're going to be kind of like the new emos. Aladdin doll includes a white shirt with Abu on the chest, khaki shorts, an over shirt featuring Agrabah. He also has a blue Mickey balloon, a Fez-inspired ear hat, and belt bag. Why not we just call it a family pack? I don't know. That's what it looks like. House Haunted Mansion I Love You Forever outfit, $16.99. Is that supposed to be Aladdin? Is Aladdin supposed to wear that? No, I think it's just an outfit. When you buy the doll, then you can buy numerous Aladdin? Outfits. You well, buy you Aladdin? Want, this is well, who? if he wants to wear it, let him wear it. Dress up any of the dolls up to go. See the Haunted Mansion in this outfit, including a blue skirt printed with the Haunted Mansion wallpaper design. They've got great. Our, our wallpaper, our bedroom wallpaper is on this person. Uh, Ma um, Madam Leota Circle purse, an ear headband inspired by cast member outfit and black shirt with white Peter Pan collar. That looks like a Ken doll. It did look like a Ken doll. Up next, Space Mountain I Love You Forever outfit, $16.99. So the Space Mountain outfit is a cozy set, including a purple hoodie, space sweatpants, sandals, a shiny ear headband, and what looks like tiny version of the Space Mountain cookie jars. They also have the Mad Tea Party I Love You Forever outfit, $16.99. says the Mad part Tea Party set includes an ear headband topped with teacups, a purse inspired by the paper lantern hanging around the ride, a t-shirt, pink shirts, and jacket and boots printed with flowers. Oh my, Chris. DeSantis would be outraged if Aladdin wears that cross-dressing <laughs> outfit. Hi, Jonathan. So I'm just confused. Hey, they haven't showed like... Like any of the, any they of showed the, one doll. That's yeah, all they showed. They haven't showed any of the other dolls. The so Beast, they... I love you forever outfit for sixteen ninety nine. So I'm gonna say the Beast wears this, but I guess anybody can. So Cam went on vacation in Disney, left Barbie for Minnie Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> this set includes a shirt that looks like looks painted with Beast, Beast, Beast jeans and a jacket, plus yellow sunglasses and boots. I'm wondering if this rollout is set to go with the Barbie. Oh, I bet it is. So this is Dr. Facilier, I Love You Forever outfit. And it says this line starred villain-inspired items too. doesn't really say what's on there. It doesn't really give much of it. It looks like you've got it like a camouflage. Body. No, it didn't. Hmm. Wait, this outfit is inspired by Dr. Facilier, a red and purple tie-dyed hoodie is decorated with a skull and paired with Dr. F. T-shirt and shorts, plus socks, a belt bag, and sneakers. Okay. If you're looking something. If what? If you're looking for some life-size I Love You Forever clothing, Disney did release some Big Thunder Mountain Railroad-inspired youth apparel. Okay. All right. Moving on, Margie. Wasn't that fun? We got some more. More merchandise, March. More merchandise. This is what you wanted. Merchandise Monday. That's what you said. But Barbie is not Disney. They're just riding the coattails. Probably. Probably. All right. This comes from WDW News Today. Okay. Disney World Fort Wilderness Resort ear headband by Loungefly arrives with acorns and tree rings. They're not terrible. Kind of looks like there would be something that the chipmunks would wear, mm -hmm. wasn't it? So... 
Lounge Fly Disney Fort Wilderness Resort Ear Headband for $44.99. There's where it loses Margie. That exactly. That's what loses me every time. The price. I can't fathom paying that much money for something like that. So the mini bow comprises two green plethora pleather pleather. I'm sorry. Pleather leaves with two felt acorns at the center. Oh, I, I really like that. The, the logo on it with the, mm -hmm. the pine cone and the leaf. Uh, the logo for, Dis for Disney Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground is stamped on the back of the left ear. On the back of the right ear are dark brown images of an acorn leaf and pine cone. It's got the lounge fly on the side. And that's it. This too could be yours for $44.99. Yeah, they should have put Chip and Dale on one of them on each ear on the should back. Should have. They should have. We got three more, and we got it's all merchandise. Here we go. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll wait. Merchandise Monday. Look, we have Margie Dice at Disney. Will Margie like it? No. <laughs> Here we go. All right. This is from WDW News Today. This is a new. Contemporary Resort Sketchbook Ornament Featuring Monorail and The Incredibles. The Contemporary Resort Sketchbook Ornament, $24.99. Monorail, ye Monorail Yellow is departing the hotel with Mr. Incredible running on top. Kids, don't try this at home. How would I try this at home? I don't have a monorail here. Uh, although the Contemporary Resort structure is blue and somewhat stylized, there's no mistaking the iconic A-frame shape of the hotel. It says the rest of the incredible family is shown on the side of the monorail. There is a dongle piece with the text Disney Contemporary Resort and the familiar type face first introduced in 1987. There are no incredible depict Incredibles depicted on the back side of the ornament. Sketchbook is the name of Disney's ornament segments. And that'd be it. What do you think of that, Marge? Do you think that's a pretty neat sketchbook ornament? Okay. Probably wouldn't be one that I would jump at getting. Mm -mm. I mean, I liked Incredibles in it, but not so much to get a sketchbook ornament. So next up, should we jump to this one? Sure. Because I think there's going to be a lot more. All right. This is coming from WDW News Today. And we have the Disney Railroad Train Engine Popcorn Bucket coming soon for Disney 100. Look at that. I think that looks neat. I like it. I do like it. Yes. So, coming on down. So, they don't have a price on it. This it preview. Was up there, wasn't it? Nope. There was no price. Hmm. Says. This preview showed off several fun features of the popcorn bucket, including a functioning light on the front. Wow. Good idea, John. We also got or a look Mike, sorry. at the train's moving wheels and another section that seemingly doubles as a fox pipe. Mickey Mouse is featured peeking his head out one of the windows of the train car. The top portion of the train car op opens to reveal the popcorn holder itself. So it doesn't look very big? No. It? I wonder if the popcorn goes in here. I don't know. So I still like it. I kind of want Who one. says that a popcorn bucket has to be functional? Yep, it's coming. So is the train of people wanting it. <laughs> you got that right. Sandy says I kind of want one. I do like it. I like it. I saw it today when I was looking at lunch. All right. This also from WDW News Today. More merchandise. So we got everything is better at Walt Disney World. Apparel, Mickey Mouse, Toe, and more new merchandise. Everything is better at the Walt Disney World shirt. $29.99. I like it. 
You like it? I like it a lot. Yes. So, uh, Cinderella Castle Tank for $34.99. So, it has the castle on it. It says Walt Disney World. It is gray. The Walt Disney World belt bag for $29.99. It's not bad. I don't know because I don't. We carry a backpack, so right. I don't see any sense in having Mickey tote bag for thirty four ninety nine. Mom loves totes, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. The Mickey wallet for twenty nine ninety nine, and it matches the tote, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Walt Disney World on the back. It almost looks like it's... What? Is it fabric? Yeah. Like, most of them are, like, leather or whatever, but... No, this is a fabric. Up next, it's Youth Mickey and Pluto Spirit Jersey, $54.99. This is a different kind of spirit jersey. I don't like it. Okay. I don't like how the seam runs across his face. Oh. It's just how spirit jerseys are made, though. Not running across Pluto's face. Chasing the fun tank top for $39.99. We have the mini youth shirt for $26.99. I could have seen the girls wearing this when they were younger. Could you? Mm-hmm. Uh, Walt Disney World youth tee for $26.99. I could see the girls wearing that when they were younger too. Kind of got it the retro retro Disney look. I like that one. Yep. That wallet would fall to the bottom of the tote bag and we need to dig. Yeah, right. The 1971 U shirt, 3199. $31.99. Awesome, awesome. Minnie Mouse U shirt for $26.99. Looks like something Haley would have wore when she was younger. Design is just okay for the jersey. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. Mini blue. Is that ombre? U shirt? Mm-hmm. $26.99. She's in, she's in polka dots. Another mini pink ombre U shirt for $26.99. And I believe a magic shirt for $39.99. Castle shorts for $36.99. Pink with the castle on the leg. Walt Disney World shirt for twenty ninety nine. I like that. Yeah. It has all of it on there, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Ah, the one thing it's missing. It does not have Tower of Terror. It has the Hollywood Archway, but does not have the Tower of Terror on it. It's missing. That's got Space Mountain. Yeah. The tree. It's missing Tower of Terror again. Walt Disney World shirt twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> what, what what's their whole thing against the Tower of Terror? What are they trying to tell us? I think the bench next to Mars name is standard and the one next to John Doe is metric since he's up in Canada laugh out loud. <laughs> So, uh, Walt Disney World Youth Sweatshirt, thirty two ninety nine. Was the Tower of Terror there in nineteen seventy one? Well, no, but neither was Epcot. I don't know. Epcot wasn't there until like what eighty two. Okay, I don't. Understand. And the Tree of Life wasn't there until. I don't understand this. I conquered. It's a small world. Because you had to sit on that ride. It's, and it's kind of, I don't know. It's probably it's probably just something jokingly because usually you get those like I survived this ride. It's usually a roller coaster thing. Unless they were stuck there for like hours. <laughs> there it is. The blue adult tea celebrates every parent who has survived. Okay. It's a small world. Just along for the ride, monorail shirt twenty nine ninety nine. That's pretty neat. I like it. And that's it. 
one thing about Power of Terror, it does not fall with gravity. It's pulled down faster than gravity. Yes. The Sun Tower of Terror exists in its own dimension. <laughs> also, yes. I also read that they are removing the seatbelts to Tower of Terror. Really? Yeah. You just get to hang on? Yeah. I can see one person doing it just to see. <laughs> just to see. That's I I I, re- I don't remember where I read that at, but I read that. Magic Kingdom was the only part. So, but I think it's going to do it, right? Yeah. So, uh, a little bit of news in just I'm going to say in about three weeks. Did you say three weeks? We should be bringing trivia back. Oh. Would you say? Mm, three or four. We've got I don't know. everything. Almost everything in the mail. The only thing we can't find is something. I found something. Okay. So uh, I know Kevin's not in here, uh, but the prize he's going to get is going to be a prize for both seasons. Hopefully he'll be all right with that uh, because it, it's going to be bigger than what we normally gave away. Uh, before the season starts, we will be showing what the prize is going to be if you win the season. Hopefully inspiring people who want that prize Yay, to come in and more. So, but we will be starting up trivia. I, I'm going to put trivia on a permanent time, and it's going to go at eight o'clock on Tuesday nights. So, uh, the reason why it's going to be earlier than what it was is because there's people who who go to bed early who want to play trivia. So, like Margie. <laughs> So, so that is the reason why we are putting trivia on earlier. Okay, uh, another thing coming up, I don't know if it'll be on my channel or if it's going to be on the Mickey Bunch. Uh, we are talking about doing a live stream we do once a month where Kelly and I just catch up with each other. So I have not heard back from her on this, but we've been talking about it. So. They shouldn't remove it. People do get big air time. Yeah, I can see somebody getting hurt if they remove those belts. I can just see it now. Um, yay, trivia. It's a safety thing. With Disney having Doctor Who, will you have trivia? Speaking. And Doctor Who. Here, Mike, one of the things I want to ask you this. All right. I don't know anything about Doctor Who. I don't know anything. Margie knows nothing about Doctor Who. But... Over near Indianapolis, there is a Doctor Who museum. I read that. And I I go there, but I just don't know what I'd be looking at. You can still go and show what it's like. I mean, just because you don't know about it. Right. Like, it doesn't have to be like an hour-long video. Right. But I've, I've never watched Doctor Who. I don't know. I know that he has some kind of a... Doctor Who? A screwdriver or something like that. And then he has what's called, I don't know, it's supposed to, it looks bigger on the outs, on the inside than what it does on the oh, outside. The, the TARDIS. Door. Yes. yes. Because, you know what? I think that's what it is, right? The TARDIS. Yeah, the TARDIS because yes. Because we, we only know certain stuff from it because of the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> so. Okay, let's see. I agree, Jonathan. No seatbelt sounds unsafe. It's very unsafe. So last year was what? a photo of you and a mullet. This year is a replica mullet wig. Oh, I know what you're they're talking about. What's that? Your photo. Oh, okay. Crazy to remove the seatbelts on Tower of Terror. Somebody will get hurt. Oh, you come could go on. To learn about Doctor Who. Yes, we could. Every single one of those those roller coasters that you see me riding Kings Island while I was younger did not have a lap bar, did not have a seatbelt. You had a bar to hang on like okay, crazy. But the back then, Chris, if you think about it, there wasn't so much, oh, I'll get hurt and then sue, 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 sue. That's that's what I see with that they remove the seatbelts. But unless Disney's saying that there's no re- no way that I don't know they're they're telling you to still hang on. Um, cool, Doctor Who museum. Maybe watch them first. I don't know where to go to watch and them. Then the TARDIS. Well, I'm sure you could probably find it on each or Max. I don't think it's on Max, Margie. It was a TV show. I'm sure you. Could... So was the Big Bang Theory, and it was on there. <laughs> so do you know how long Doctor Who is on for? I don't know who Doctor Who is. It was so... on for a long time. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna look it up. I got to I gotta pray for this this 
Jeffrey's godmother, and then I'm going to look up Doctor Who. So, but I think that's going to do it. Thank they you all. They used to be on PBS. Oh, okay. sweaty hands and hang on won't work. Oh, come on. It's not going to affect anybody. Everybody will be fine. Believe me. 1963 till today. Okay. I had my seatbelt off during a a combat landing. Threw me in the air probably about... How far did I come up off my seat? I wasn't there. I, I know. I'm trying know. to think. <laughs> uh, I, I know I had to reach down between my legs to grab the seat to pull myself back down. But also, I'm grabbing for my bag that's up here. So, because everything went up. We went we went weightless. I had been asleep. I didn't know we was that close to landing. I unbuckled to readjust everything. And when I unbuckled, that's when we, when we dove. And when we dove, I went weightless. I started going up. I reached down to grab the middle of my seat, reaching for my bag at the same time because my bag was right here and it went up. Uh friend of mine who was also on the plane with me reaches over and grabs me. <laughs> so. You see, now everybody's going to reach over and grab somebody on Tower of Terror and be like, whoa! It'll be that guy who's trying to fill you up with his elbow. <laughs> It'll be that guy gets punched in the nose. But, Pluto Channel has classic DW. Okay. Okay. I do know there have been several Doctor Whos. Yes, original, I do know that. Jonathan says the original Doctor Who had a lobster council. At one episode, the original Doctor Who talked to. Okay. Oh, wow. 15 well, Mars so far. Holy cannoli, there's that many. <laughs> so. All right. All right. That is going to do it. Thank you guys for joining us. And uh, I'll try to keep guys updated on what's going on with the with the uh, trivia. trivia. And I think that's going to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you all. And I hope you all have a good evening. We'll see you later. We'll be back. Thursday for more Disney updates. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Tom, bye, Marge. Say bye, Margie. Bye.